Hey guys, today I will be making a new mask. I have been making a lot of them because they are easy to make and a great way to learn to work with new products. So in the beginning, I do it as usual. I start with my carnival mask to use as a mold for my paper mache that I put on in three layers. After that is dried, I draw a rough sketch on the mask. For this design, I need a circle and I'll be making that cutting out 4 circles, 2 from thin cardboards and 2 from thicker ones. Then I will cut out the center using a box cutter and cover the edges with masking tape. After that, I will stick it on the forehead of the mask and gluing toilet paper over it so that the speckling paste will stick better after it has dried. But before that, I will cut open the mouth with a sharp blade. The speckling paste that I am using is a powder form that you mix with water, but I also use glue to make sure that it does not crack when it's dried. First I apply it thinly with a brush and then with the remains I go over it with a palette knife. Now for the last part for the decoration. I am now using three kinds of bamboo skewers. The long ones and the thicker ones I will cut in half. A few of the thicker ones I will keep as is and then paint them in white gesso before I stick them to the mask, otherwise it will be too difficult to paint. Now before I stick them on, I will paint the circle black, again to make things easier. Once dried, I will glue the sticks around it to make it seem that the circle has been supported by it.
So after the glue is dried, I can now paint. First, I wanted to hide the imperfections of the paint by blue sticks, using black paint at the base. Making it zip in, I'm using a spray bottle. While doing this, I get an idea on how I wanted to paint this mask. You will see that during this video that there has been changes made because of a few mistakes. But as you will see, I wanted to make this mask look as if it has been made out of stone. To do that, after I apply the base color, I now am dry brushing white paint. Now here comes the part that I kind of forget. I wanted to use air drying clay to make it look like a snake shedding its skin. But as you will later see, it's not gonna look like, like I wanted it to be.
So as you have seen, the scales has fallen off and there was no way that I was gonna do that again. But I have to be honest, I was kind of glad that that has happened, for it looked like the mask had lice instead of scales. So now all I have to do is paint it. And my inspiration for this mask is the king snake, and I'll be using black, red and white paint. Here I'm trying to use a cotton stick to create scales, but I quickly gave up on that idea. Now I'm still very much a beginner when it comes to painting, so I had to repaint it a few times. And to make the red merge with the black, I just put on a little bit on the side and then drag it towards the black. And here you have it, another mask to the collection. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, please stick around for the next one. I have more ideas to show you. Until then, 